Look, look, look at me. I'm the Wawa Water Partner. What's up, good people and Eagle fans and 49er fans? What is going on on this Monday evening? We have some breaking news that has just happened. The Dallas Cowboys have believed in one of their players and are bringing back Rico Daddle. Cowboys agreed to a new deal with Rico Dow, who played in 16 games behind Tony Pollard last year, rushing for 361 yards, two touchdowns, and 89 carries. Welcome back. Welcome back, Rico Daddle, uh, to the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, of course, have been um, a little bit slow to the table, so to speak, with getting things done as far as the salary cap goes and um, with bringing in players. They are, here's my thing, you know, everybody's killing the Cowboys. We got Skip Bayless, who's becoming literally, literally, you know, nobody's really listening to him, but saying that the Cowboys will miss the playoffs. Well, the Cowboys making the playoffs three years in a row. Well, you know, that's actually not easy to do, but We'll have to wait and see. It's too early to tell because, as I say, the cake is not baked yet. It's not baked yet. There's still more things that are going to happen and go on. So let's wait and see what, in fact, the Dallas Cowboys do. Be that as it may, um, they have actually made, actually, I will say, bringing back Jordan Lewis at $2.4 million. I don't know what the cap hit will be right now. Um, and Dak Prescott getting... At least four million more on the cap with the nine and a half million that you're going to get from uh, Michael Gallup being released, and then of course the two point two million that you get. It, we're, we're talking about peanuts here. We're talking about peanuts. And before everybody goes crazy because we're not going in the deep dive, you know, like like the Commanders and the Eagles. You remember last year the Eagles, and every day it was literally. Philly 500 doing videos about this is the greatest player ever, how we vision, and this is your world, and you're just living in it and everything else. This feels like Groundhog Day. Cowboys marry little sisters of the poor, don't do anything in free agency. They're going to suck. They're going to be ass-ass. And then somehow, they actually do okay. I'm not saying that this is perfect, but let's see if the Cowboys actually have a plan. You know, we hear about a culture problem, and it, th th this is where it's kind of crazy because we hear about a culture problem. The Cowboys start letting go players, then they start saying, well, you know, they let go of this player and that player and this, that, and the other, and they've got nobody else. But wait a minute, I thought it didn't matter about us having those players that we have a culture problem. So maybe the Cowboys looked and said, let's let those guys go, and let's see if we can cook, do something like we did last year with, say, Brandon Cook, and... Um, Stefan Gilmore, bring those guys in. Let's keep a few of the pieces that we know that are good. And with the new coach, let's bring some of the guys that he's going to want to bring in. How about that? How about we at least, well, it, we don't really have a choice. We really don't have a choice. We're going to have to wait and see what actually transpires. Okay? So there you have it. Welcome back, Rico Daddle. Um, I can't wait to see the details of the deal. And as always, 9 o'clock Eastern, check out The Moron. That's right. I am The Moron here with 100,000 subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Peace.